Hi everyone, welcome to Karen from Tilly Crafts. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in the UK and today I'm bringing you the new annual catalogue which is May to April and these cards I created using the Nature's Prints Nature's Print stamp set, gorgeous stamp set. Um, and these are the two cards I created. So this is in Clipso Coral and this is in Blackberry Bliss. And I'm just going to show you in here. I can show you the inside now, it's live. And found the page it's on, I've gone past the index. 91 so this is the suite that you can get you get the papers the designer series papers which are gorgeous i have got these but i just chose to do it in a different paper uh, there's an embossing folder fern style embossing folder you get the stamp set and the dies i've just got the stamp set and the papers but also on page 133 there's these papers I'm showing you these papers these are called pretty prints and they have the similar designs on and these are like in Clipso Coral Coastal Cabana Even Evergreen and Blackberry Bliss and these are the papers that I've used today so I've already been playing with these, so I've cut them up. They are 12 by 12, but they get... <clears throat> I don't know what I've done with the the dark green one. It'll be about somewhere. <laughs> this is the problem when these things go live. get excited and I can't remember what I've done with half of them. Hang on, there they are. <clears throat> There we go. I knew I had them somewhere. So you get, these are like splatters and then you get these fern like styles and these are like the dandelions and then it's just plain on the back. I've used the other sheet of that on the card. <laughs> oh, there it is. So you get this design. So the same designs on each of these colours. I love that one. It's very pretty. And the same on the backs. And the same with these two. I actually think this one's my favourite out of the four of them. But they are all lovely. And we're going to use the Bermuda Bay one today. Let's pop that out of the way. So, let's get started. So, on these I've used Blackberry Bliss and the new Orchid Oasis and a bit of Rich Razzle Bray. This is just with the Calypso Coral and the new Sweet Sorbet on this one. So let's pop them out of the way. I've already mounted these up, they're the red rubber. So I've already mounted them up on blocks for what we're gonna use, but we'll need, and I've done these in very vanilla. I don't use this very often. So I thought I'd do it. So it's an A4 sheet, cut in half, scored in half, and then I just fold it over and burnish it. I didn't do that very straight, did I? But hey ho, I'll trim it up later. So that's the card base. Then, now I did write this down. You need a piece of very vanilla that's two and a quarter by five and a half. And then you need a piece of the designer series paper, which I've gone for this one. And this is, don't laugh, it's nine, nine and eight centimeters by 14, but I did trim this down. So it is now, in inches, it's three and three quarters by five and a half. And then I've got some Bermuda Bay to layer it. Now I've not measured this because all I'm going to do, I just want a short border. So I will stick that up and then I'm going to trim it as how I want it. So, and then the same again. I was going to say the same again with that, but it doesn't fit. <laughs> I did have one somewhere. You can tell it's a long time since I've done a video, but things don't get any better, do they? Because I used to be like this before, losing stuff. We have a piece here. It's okay. And I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm just going to layer it up 
with a very slight border and trim it down. So we'll do the trimming later. Now the inks I'm going to be using are Bermuda Bay, Coastal Cabana and Soft Succulent. And we'll see what it turns out like and then you can tell me your favourite. So I've got a piece of scrap for the sentiment and another piece of scrap for the outside bit. And I think I will do them first and I'm going to do them in the Bermuda Bay. So we've got the hollow stamp. I love the font on this. So I'm just going to stamp that there, like so, and that's that one done. And then I'm also going to take the coastal cabana, and I'm going to take these little splatters. But what I am going to do is I'm going to stamp off first, and again, and let's see. Yes, it just gives a very faint line over the top of it. I didn't want it too strong. And then I bring in my lovely oval punch. And I'm just going to trim this across here because otherwise you get a white one out as well. And a um, very vanilla next one. Is, and I don't want that. I need to do a little bit more. But it just fits in here nice. So you can line it up in the punch and then just pop it out and we'll do the same with this one and then that's our sentiment ready to go let's move these bits out of the way so I'll pop that on there and hopefully i won't lose it but on top of the card bits right and we also need it's going to bring a piece of scrap in and then that way I don't get it all over so get my soft succulent open as well and I'm going to take this lovely fern stamp it up and I'm just going to stamp like so like that bring in this big one, I like this big one, and we'll do that in the soft succulent. And he can come down here, and I might just pop another bit over there like that. There's no rhyme or reason, you can do it however you want. Just going to bring the coastal in, and I'm just going to wipe the end of that off actually, and then pop it in there. That's pretty. And then I might just pop that one in there so it looks like it's growing out. And then I'm going to take my splatters and I'm thinking we might do a soft succulent. So I'm going to stamp it a couple of times like that. And I like that. It's very nice. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to get my blending brush. And I think we're going to take the Bermuda Bay, start off on there, and just go around the edge so it's darker at the edges. Oops. And it just can't remember what they call it. Is it a vignette or something like that? This technique that I'm doing. Like so. Sorry if I'm shaking you. I'm on a standy uppy desk and I'm just going over the top like so. So it just gives that effect. And that is all this. Oh no, one more thing I forgot to show you. In these, I just stamped a little design inside so we'll do that on the card now I'm just going to trim this down a little bit she says I'll get back into the swing of doing these eventually and I'm just going to trim that overhanger Go. and in here I'm going to take 
this one in the coastal and stamp it in there and I'm going to bring in this one that I didn't use and I think we'll have one there and one there and that just gives a little bit of interest inside the card right now let me shut these inks up before I get them all over <coughs> excuse me right this is my goal it was my goal in January to get doing videos again but I didn't get very far did I <laughs> mind you I have had some bouts of illness so I am forgiving myself right so glue And then using Tombow glue, the liquid glue, any liquid glue, it gives you that room to just manoeuvre it if you need to. There we go. Let's bring in my trimmer again. It's really handy, this little one. Let's put that off on. I just need to get that off. Cause... And then you just line it up where you want it. And that is fine. And we're going to do exactly the same with this one. It's way up for choice in this new catalogue. I am pleased because there is a lot of stuff that's carried over that I didn't get a chance to play with. So hopefully I should be able to do some more videos with some of the stuff I've not even played with yet. glue on here really simple card to make actually it's just <clears throat> when you're not faffing around like me there we go now before I sit this down I am using and I know it's retired but I just thought it went so nice but there are options to get different ones in the catalogue if you want newer type stuff but for me I'm quite happy to use up my old ribbon I'm just going to see if this tape going to work. So let's put a bit of tape on. Stick it down. We're doing a faux bow, you see. Easier. Oops. This one's nearly running out. Stick that down like so. Bring your card base back in. A bit of tombow. So you can put this up on dimensionals if you want, but because uh, everything else is up on dimensionals, I thought I would stick this one flat. And again, that tumble gives you that little bit of wiggle room to stick it down. And then I want this, which I'm going to put over here, like so. And then that will go on there. I just need my dimensionals. I've got plenty on. Pull these off. And then we shall stick this down. So you can put it right in the middle if you want. Or I quite like to over to the side. And it is the same size. There we go. And on here, I'm only going to put dimensionals on one side because it will stick like that. So a little bit of glue on this side. Quite liking this one actually now. I don't know which one's going to be my favourite after this. There we go. And now to tie a bow. 
I love this ribbon I was gutted when this left there's a, there was a white one as well I've still got some of that and it was great because you can colour it with your blends but I have got a new favourite ribbon it's got sparkles in it there we go I have a special pair of scissors for a ribbon nobody's allowed to use these for anything other than ribbon And then that's just going to go up there, like so. Let's trim that down a little bit. Let's put that on that one. It's a bit sticky or pink. No, it doesn't look right at all. This is my trouble, this. I end up messing with them, and then they end up dead tiny enough to do another one. There we go. <clears throat> And she's lost the glue dots. Definitely not safe to be let out me. Right, let's put a bit of tape on there for now. And when I find my glue dots, I shall add. There we go. That's it. And we just need to finish off with some gems. On this one, I've used some new glossy dots. This one was some old artistry. Um sequins that matched with the Calypso Coral and I'm just going to grab that she says a big pack of these and I don't think they are in here dropping them all on the floor. I tell you, I give up today. One minute. Ooh. Hey, I've got them. I had a move around with my uh, craft desk and workstation and it's just in the corner. So these are the new glossy assortment dots and I'm just thinking whether these would just go on there or are they a bit too blue if they are we have options of the these might go a bit better actually yes we'll use these <clears throat> these are basic wave rhinestones now these might not be current anymore but like i say i'm not wasting them we are going to use them Oh yes, they go on there, lovely. So I'm going to scatter a few of these about. Some of the little tiny ones as well. One more. Don't like even numbers. There we go. Right, move all these out of the way. So that's our card. So I hope you've liked it. That's the first two I made. So that was more Calypso Coral and Sweet Sorbet. This one was the Blackberry Bliss Orchid Oasis. Love this. Rich Razzleberry. And then the final card was Coastal Cabana. Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay and Soft Succulent. So thank you very much for joining me. Really hope you like them with the new Nature's Prints. And I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye.